So I have some exciting news for you today. We all know how much of a pain it is dealing with hijackers. Well, Amazon has finally taken it upon themselves to do something about it. They recently launched their brand new IP accelerator program. And in this video, I'll show you how you can take advantage of it right now and forget about those pesky hijackers. But first, my name is Crescent. On my channel, I share tips and strategy videos, just like this one, on how you can create a successful Amazon FBA private label business. So if you enjoy videos like this, consider subscribing. All right, let's get started. All right, so first of all, if you're not familiar with what a hijacker is, a hijacker is another Amazon seller that's jumped onto your private label listing and listed their counterfeit product under your listing. That means they have a product that isn't yours, but they've listed it for sale on your listing, usually at a lower price, therefore stealing the buy box from you. That means that anytime a buyer goes to your listing and makes a purchase, you're not getting the sale, the hijacker is. Now there's a bunch of concerns when this happens. A, you don't have any control over the product and quality of that product from this hijacker. Typically they're buying these products of inferior or poor quality from another supplier and they've listed it for sale under your listing. So any bad reviews that come along will stick to your listing. Now, just to show you what that looks like, if we jump onto Amazon and let's just take a look at my favorite niche, which is the can opener one. So let's come down here and just pick a random product and I'll show you what it looks like when you get a hijacker. So for example, let's just pick this uh, OXO, which is the Amazon's best choice. If we click on that and you'll know when there's more than one seller, when you come down here underneath the bullet points and you see there's uh, like, for example, this one says new 15. That means there's 15 other sellers besides OXO that have this product for sale. Now how this buy box works is that Amazon will typically rotate through different sellers that are offering this product if they have the same price. Now, whoever has the lowest price usually wins that buy box. Okay. So if you want to learn more about how this buy box works, I'll post a link to it over here as well as in the video description below so you can figure out how exactly that works so that you don't lose the buy box, which means you'll lose sales, okay? Now, just to give you another example of what it looks like, if we scroll down and choose a different one like this um, uh, best hybrid Keebly one, <clears throat> okay? And if we scroll down here, you'll see that this one says new and used. That means there's three sellers on this listing. Some are listing them as new as well as used. And so if we click on this right here, it'll show us who the other sellers are. So you can see there's one seller offering the same product for $13.97, and then there's two other ones that have it at the same price for $12.85, all right? Now, if you still don't understand the issue here, when you're doing private label products, you are manufacturing and selling your own product. And so you want to have 100% control of your listing and the product itself. So if another seller comes along and offers a similar product as yours and lists it under yours, they're able to sell their product under your listing. So you could have done all the work to get it ranked, get all the social proof with reviews, built an optimized listing, paid for photos, and then a hijacker will come along with an inferior product at a lower price, list it under your listing and get all the sales, okay? And the problem there, especially the problem is if they are poor quality, you're gonna get the bad reviews and they'll stick to your listing. So it's gonna negatively affect your account. That's why it's super important that anytime there is a hijacker that you get rid of them. Now, again, I have a video that goes over how to do that and I'll post that in the video description below. So now that you understand what a hijacker is and how they can affect your account, how can you prevent hijackers in the first place from getting onto your listing? Well, traditionally, what I always recommend is that when you're starting a new product, you always want to private label it, meaning that you're putting your brand and logo on your product, every single unit. This is because if a hijacker does come along and their product doesn't match yours 100%, meaning that it's identical to yours with your logo on it, you can contact Amazon and they'll remove that hijacker because in order for a, another seller to list their product under another listing, they need to be 100% identical, okay? So that's why private labeling and also bundling, especially intricate methods of bundling where you're bundling 
from different suppliers or several products together creates a more difficult roadblock for a hijacker to come along to create an identical product as yours to be able to list under your listing. Now, besides doing that, what major corporations do is they get a registered trademark. Now, it's not required for you to have a registered trademark or a registered business to start selling on Amazon. So you don't immediately have to have those in place for you to start selling on Amazon. However, if you take selling on Amazon seriously, I do suggest eventually getting a registered trademark and a registered business. Now, what a registered trademark allows you to do is it now allows you brand protection, which protects your brand against counterfeit items. Now, as far as Amazon's concerned, once you have registered trademark, you can now apply for Amazon's brand registry. Now, there's several benefits of doing this. So just to give you a quick idea, if we take a look at Amazon's brand registry website, you can see here that it offers several advantages here. So it gives you brand representation, it gives you powerful search tools and proactive brand protection, which means Amazon has automated processes to protect brand registered sellers, as well as you as a seller, you then have the ability to moderate your own listings and remove any counterfeit products on your own. Okay, so if we scroll down, you can see here, you can see that these are major corporations that are brand registered on Amazon. So they automatically get this brand protection. And you can get it too by getting a trademark. The thing is, is when you register for a trademark on your own, which you can do on uh, USPTO.gov, which is here, and if you click on trademarks, it brings you to here. This process typically takes nine months to a year. So if today you decided to start selling on Amazon or you decided to register a trademark, you're looking at a nine to 12 month wait for this process to complete, which is a long time to have to wait. And if we jump over here and take a look at the fees, you can see here that registering a trademark on your own typically is gonna cost anywhere from four to $600 price range along with this nine to 12 month wait time. Now you could go hire a third party to help you do this process, but it still takes nine to 12 months and there's some extra fees involved since they're doing the work for you. Now, once you do get your trademark registered, what benefits do you get as far as Amazon's concerned? Well, A, like I said earlier, you get brand protection. Now, as far as brand registry, you also get access to what's called Amazon's enhanced brand content or what's called A plus content now. Now, if you've been on Amazon for a while, you've probably seen some listings that look a little bit different than what you're able to do without brand registry. For example, if we take a look at this count opener niche again, brand registry gives you access to these sponsored headlined ads. These, and that's these ads up here. Sellers that don't have brand registry can only run PPC ads and get these sponsored listing positions here and at the bottom of the page. Whereas if you do have brand registry, you have access to this headline sponsored ad up here, which is a single brand taking up this entire uh, ad space at the very top here, okay? Hope you see how powerful that is. Now, if you look down on the left, you can see registered brands also get their own search. So you can search specifically for a brand, okay? Now, if we take a look at this Amazon's Choice OXO Grip listing, you'll notice that because this seller has brand registry, they can also put a video in their listing, okay? Now, if a photo speaks a thousand words, a video is infinitely better and more powerful at marketing and selling your product. So it's definitely a competitive advantage being able to add a video to your listing. If you scroll down, the enhanced brand content also allows you to do far more beautiful listings. So in the description, you can see here they're formatted as well as put photos in the description. And you'll notice that it looks far more detailed and beautiful looking rather than just having a simple paragraph in your description. All right, so now that I've shown you what a hijacker is, the problems with dealing with a hijacker, how to prevent it by getting a registered trademark, as well as getting access to brand registry, nobody wants to wait nine months to a year to have access to all these features, right? At least I hope you don't. So how can we speed up this process? Well, Amazon's new IP Accelerator program does this for you. So 
If we take a look at the new section in Seller Central, you'll notice right here on October 1st, they posted this article here, the Amazon Intellectual Property Accelerator. Okay, and you can see here it says, helping brands accelerate obtaining intellectual property rights and protecting brands in our stores. Now you can read this whole article on your own. I just wanna highlight a few things here. You can see that it says here, the IP Accelerator solves this challenge, the challenge of having to wait nine to 12 months by connecting businesses with a curated network of trusted IP law firms that provide high quality trademark registration services at competitive rates to help brands secure a trademark. When businesses use these law firms to file a trademark application, Amazon provides their brands with an accelerated access to brand protection in Amazon stores, okay? And if we scroll down to the bottom, brands will benefit from automated brand protections, which proactively block bad listings from Amazon stores, increased authority over product data in our store, and access to our report a violation tool, a powerful tool to search for and report bad listings that have made it past our automated protections. All right, you see how exciting this is? All right, so here's what I did to figure out this whole process and how the IP Accelerator program works. So what I did is I had one of my students apply for the IP Accelerator program and I helped him through the entire process step by step so that we can go through this process together and I can learn exactly what is going on, what's involved, all the costs that are involved and how long it actually takes. Now, if you're looking for Amazon FBA training as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching from me and access to a support community to help you grow and build your own successful Amazon business, I'll post links to my website in the video description below. So the process is actually quite simple and straightforward. All you need to do is log into Seller Central and at the top here, if you click on the App Store and go down to Explore Services and we scroll down and you'll find the new IP Accelerator option here. Now, if you click on that, you're gonna see a list of all the pre-vetted and curated firms that you can choose from to apply for your trademark. So all of these firms are vetted already from Amazon. Now what's great about going through the Accelerator program is that you're not paying anything extra. If we jump onto the FAQ uh, section for the IP Accelerator, you can see here that it says, do I have to pay Amazon to use the Amazon IP Accelerator? No, the IP Accelerator program is free. Amazon does not charge a fee to connect you with these law firms. When you select the firm, you work with and pay the law firm directly, all right? So you see how powerful this new service is by Amazon, okay? Now, the thing is is that what we discovered with my student is that the typical fee that you're paying with these law firms is around the same as if you hired them on your own. And that's gonna be anywhere from 800 to $1,000. So it is more than the five to $600 that if you did it yourself through the USPTO.gov website, but I do recommend going through a law firm because if you screw up the paperwork in any way, that's just gonna delay the entire process. Now these law firms deal with this day in and day out, so they know the process inside and out, especially these curated ones, they know exactly what's involved to deal with Amazon, right? That's why they're pre-vetted by Amazon. So the benefit of going through one of these law firms is not only that you don't have to pay anything extra, instead of having to wait nine to 12 months, you now get access to brand registry in two weeks. And again, with my student, it literally took two weeks. So you can streamline your entire Amazon process now without having to worry about hijackers if you were to use the traditional method that took nine to 12 months. All right, so because this program is still relatively new, it's only a couple months old, you'll notice that there are reviews that you can see here and not all of them have five stars. So what we did is we just chose the one that had the most reviews. So if we scroll down, you can see like this one, they're probably new because uh, they don't have any reviews and this one only has one. So just like the products on Amazon, and these are pre-vetted, so I actually wouldn't worry about using the ones that have no reviews or low reviews, but we chose the one that has the most reviews here. So this one has 35, this one's 31 now. So what I recommend doing is contacting a couple of these law firms and speak with a representative there and see what the actual costs are because they can vary from law firm to law firm. So in summary, the takeaway from all of this is that you should always be looking to protect yourself as well as try to gain an, a competitive advantage. I also suggest checking the news section at least once a month 
that's in Seller Central so that you can stay on top of any updates or changes that can affect your account, just like this one did. All right, I hope you found this helpful. If you wanna learn more about hijackers or selling on Amazon, check out these videos over here. All right, thanks for watching. If you found value in this video, you know what to do. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And make sure you click that bell icon to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. There's also a link in the description to our community forums, which you should totally join. And as always, thanks for watching.